हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for the second week of the september month this will be quite interesting session so do pay attention till the end let's start First is name the company that has recently signed an MOU with the Indian Railways Gati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya Vadodara to enhance the India's aviation sector. What is aviation sector? It is basically related to your aircrafts, right? So, which company has recently signed an MOU with Indian Railways Gati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya Vadodara to enhance the India's aviation sector? It is Airbus, right? Which is it? It is Airbus. So they signed this MOU with whom? Indian Railways Gati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya Vadodara and it is to enhance the aviation sector of India. Remember this Gati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya is a central university under the Ministry of Railways in Vadodara Gujarat and this is the first university in the transportation and logistics sector. Right? Then apart from this if I ask you tell me who recently launched Gruha Lakshmi. Gruha Lakshmi This was launched by the cake state Karnataka, Gruha Lakshmi. Then recently, remember which state has approved twenty seven percent reservation for OBC in the local bodies like Panchayat, Gujarat. And in Gujarat, Gandhi Nagar only global center for traditional medicine was set up, and a congress was a conference was held for the same with the help of of WHO. Next, UN released a report that is progress on the sustainable development goals, the gender snapshot 2023, with the key highlighting that prevailing trend gaps and recent setbacks on the journey towards achieving gender equality by the year dash. So UN released this report that is on the progress on the sustainable development goals, the gender gap snapshot, with the key highlighting that the journey towards achieving gender equality. Right here, we are talking about achieving gender equality by what year? By twenty thirty. Right. This is the latest edition of this annual series jointly produced by UN Women, that is UN Entity for Gender Equality and Empowerment for Women. Correct. And the report provides a comprehensive analysis of gender equality progress across all the seventeen sustainable development goals. Then, if we are talking about achieving. uh we just talked about sustainable development goals right and we know there are 17 of them which we have to achieve by 2030 so recently which indian organization has tied up or signed an mou with undp in order to achieve these sustainable development goals on fast tracking basis it is niti ayog next as per the 8th edition of the us news and worlds report best countries ranking for 2023 that was released in september india secured dash rank while dash country topped the world's best country for the second consecutive time so which is the 
country in the world that has been ranked as the world's best country it is switzerland so on the top first position we can say switzerland has secured the top position for second time right and which is the country uh, what is the rank of india in this index so india stood at 30th position so right option here becomes option two and remember this is the eighth edition of the us world's best countries ranking 2023 correct then remember this country was topped by switzerland and it is out of 87 countries whereas the rank of india is 85th or uh, where the rank of india is 30 right out of 87 countries correct take a note of it then on first position is switzerland followed by canada on the second position and sweden at the third position and india is on the 30th position Next, name the bank that recently became the first public sector bank to offer metal debit card serving high net worth individuals and women customers. I repeat, what is the name of the bank that has become the first public sector bank to issue metal debit cards serving high net worth individuals and women customers? It is Union Bank of India. Correct. And this is in association with NPCI. And with this Union Bank of India, it became the first public sector bank to issue these metal debit cards for the high net worth individuals and women customers then these metal debit cards will be working on which network they will be working on rupee network correct and these cards were unveiled during a global fintech fest now this question also can be asked is that global fintech fest was held where for the year 2023 it was held in mumbai maharashtra next Next is, if I ask you which edition of Global India AI was held, will be held in October. So this will be the inaugural edition and then we can say it is the first edition of the Global India AI that is scheduled to be held in October. Next, name the cloud computing service company that recently partnered with Indian Computer Engineer Emergency Response Team to train government officials in cyber security skills. So it is GCP, that is Google Cloud Platform. They have tied up with MEITY, that is Ministry of Electronics, Information and Technology, in order to train the uh, government officials in the field of cyber security. Right? Mark this. Also, around 1,000 government officials will be undergoing training in cyber defense best practices that will include your generative AI, that will include your cyber security, AI hackathons, etc. Also, ONDC. Open Network for Digital Commerce and GCP, that is your Google Cloud Platform, also collaborated to advance e-commerce in India with the use of generative artificial intelligence. So the right option is A. Then AWS is the cloud platform for Amazon, that is your Amazon Web Service, right? Then Azure is the platform of Microsoft. So but right option here is option two. Next, when was International Literacy Day observed across the globe by UNESCO? So when do we observe this International Literacy Day across the globe? It is observed on 8th of September, right? And Literacy Week, if it is asked, it is from 1st to 8th of September, right? And it is observed by which organization? UNESCO. And there is a theme that you can remember for the same, that is promoting literacy for the world in transition building the foundation for sustainable and peaceful societies. The first ever edition of this International Literacy Day was observed in 1967. Right? Next. When was World EV Day observed across the globe? What is this EV? That is your electric vehicle. So world's first uh, world's EV Day was observed when? World EV Day was is observed usually on 9th of September. And the first ever edition of this World EV Day was observed in 2029, September 2020. Next, Pink Toilets. It is of, uh, this was launched for women by which state? It was launched by Tripura. It was launched by Tripura. Then tell me, India's first underground transformer, where this will be set up? It will be in Bangalore. World's or India's first underground transformer, it will be in Bangalore. Next, 
अजीत नीनन रियॉन्ड डैश हु वॉज बेस्ट नोन फॉर इज सर्विस नियंस वर्ल्ड इन टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया हैज रिसेंटली पास अवे ही इज अ कार्टूनिस्ट मार्क दिस अजीत नीनन डायरेक्टली क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट इज दैट ही इज रिलेटेड टू विच फील्ड ही इज रिलेटेड टू कार्टूनिस्ट राइट एंड ही रिसेंटली पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ सिक्सटी एट इन मैसूर कर्नाटका देन वन सन वन वर्ल्ड वन ग्रेड this is an initiative and this was a conference that was launched recently where it was held in new delhi then apart from this a 3 day long climate resilient agriculture workshop was held where i repeat a 3 day long climate resilient agriculture workshop was held in which state or which city it was held in hyderabad correct and it is the capital of telangana next The geographical indication registry has recently granted GI tags to Koratput Kalajira rice. I repeat, Koratput Kalajira rice. Question asked is that this Koratput Kalajira rice is of which state? So remembers this jira rice is from which state? It is from Odisha. It is from Odisha, right? And Odisha recently set up a hundred crore rupees fund also in order to help the MSMEs in their state. and they have tied up with which organization for the same sidbi sidbi looking at the investment in these msmes and the fund here is allocated is 100 crore rupees then in odisha only birsa munda hockey stadium is there that is the biggest hockey stadium then here only mo bus service was launched here only mo jungle jami yojana was also launched and here only first olympic values education program has been also launched right next Name the small finance bank that recently entered into a benchurance agreement with Star Health and Allied Insurance Company and Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance Company. See what is this benchurance when a bank and an insurance company comes together and the insurance company will be selling their insurance product to the customers of bank. So recently, which small finance bank has entered into a benchurance pact? It is AU Small Finance Bank and the insurance company here are. Star Health and Allied Insurance Company, as well as Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance Company. Then, recently, tell which state has recently approved one thousand rupees pension monthly pension scheme for the transgender community? Which state it is? It is Jharkhand. And there was a scheme by the name Smile that was launched in order to stop the begging. by these transgenders and in order to provide them with a better life right to provide them with health care to provide them with education and everything so that was your smile scheme apart from this global biofuel alliance next global bio fuel alliance right so who launched this global biofuel alliance at g20 summit that was held in new delhi it was launched by obviously prime minister narendra modi but remember this global biofuel alliance then which among the following point is not a winner of the 65th edition of the raymond maxese award announced in august 2023 if we look at the options a b c which among the following is not the winner here so remember option 5 is not the winner rest all 1 2 3 4 are the right option who are the winners next when was the himalaya divas that is your himalayan day observed across india it is observed across india on 9th of september and especially in the state of uttarakhand on 9th of september with the aim of conserving the himalayan ecosystem and region this year in 2023 it was the 14th edition of the himalaya divas who is the chief minister when this himalayan divas was launched for the first time remember it was launched in 2015 and during that time harish rawat was the chief minister right so we can say the first ever edition was observed in 2015 on 9th of september correct and this year it was the 14th edition we observed then apart from this recently tell me which state has approved compensation for the mob lynching victims for mob lynching victims which state has recently approved a compensation scheme it is madhya pradesh right and recently seventh tiger reserve of madhya pradesh has been approved next 
what was the theme of the world's first eight day 2023 that was observed across the globe on 9th of september so world first aid day that is observed on 9th of september the theme for that is first aid in the digital world i repeat first aid in the digital world and remember it is not that every year we observe this day on 9th of september it is usually observed on the second saturday of september month right so this year in 2023 it was on 9th of september and the theme here is first aid in the digital world correct also the day aims to encourage the general people to learn basic first aid skills then recently bro is constructing the world's highest first firefighter airfield that is in ladakhs neoma right in ladakhs neoma bro is constructing the world's highest firefighter airfield next name the country that recently collaborated with dassault systems for digital transformation in cardiovascular science through biophysical simulation what is the name of the country or name of the not country name the organization that has recently collaborated with dassault systems for digital transformation in cardiovascular science through biophysical stimulation it is tcs it company tcs tata consultancy service right and it is for digital transformation in the cardiovascular science through biophysical stimulation correct apart from this tell me indian coast guard icg they participated in the asian coast guard agencies meeting right it was which edition of it it was the 19th edition of the asian coast guard agencies meeting in asia cup that is related to cricket which country won it it is our indian cricket team that won it which are the host countries here sri lanka and pakistan next sue bird was named as the global ambassador of the fiba women's basketball cup 2026 in dash so remember recently sue bird correct and remember has been named as the global ambassador for the fiba women's basketball world cup 26 that is going to be held in berlin germany so multiple questions from here only that fiba women's world basketball world cup will be held in which year 26 where berlin germany and sue bird was named as the global ambassador correct remember she's a american former basketball player her full name is suzanne bridget bird correct the four time world cup champion from team usa she was introduced as the fiba as the face of the women's basketball global spectacle that is scheduled to be held in september in 2026 in berlin germany next recently india along with which country signed an agreement for the cooperation in the energy sector so india and saudi arabia right they together signed an agreement on cooperation in energy sector Next, which life insurance company recently launched Income Lab and individual savings plans to provide both financial security and a consistent income stream throughout the policy term? Which is it? Tell me. It is Bharti Exa Life Insurance, right? Bharti Exa Life Insurance launched Bharti Exa Life Income Lab. This is an individual saving plan that will provide both financial security and a consistent income stream throughout the policy then here the policy holders they can expect a guaranteed income for 10 to 12 years with an initial payout equal to 100 percent of the annual premium and increasing to 150 percent after five years for a 10 year term or 200 percent after six years for a term of 12 years next in september rbi has approved the reappointment of sandeep bakshi as the managing director and chief executive officer of dash bank for three years so it is your ICICI bank, right? RBI approved the reappointment of Sandeep Bakshi as MD and CEO of ICICI bank for three years. What will be the term? For three years. Remember, this is his second extension of the tenure and the first extension happened in 2021. It was for two years that will be expiring on 3rd of October, correct? And remember, he has been serving as the MD and CEO of bank of ICICI bank since 2018. Apart from this, remember who recently inaugurated the International Conference on Dam Safety, right? Who inaugurated the International Conference on Dam Safety? He will be Jagdeep Dhankar, who is our Vice President of India. Next, 
वेन वॉज द नेशनल फॉरेस्ट मार्टर्स डे ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस इंडिया सो नेशनल फॉरेस्ट मार्टर्स डे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉज ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस इंडिया ऑन इलेवंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर करेक्ट एंड दिस इज टू ऑनर द पीपल हु सेक्रीफाइस देयर लाइफ टू प्रोटेक्ट द फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ इन इंडिया द डे ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व एज द एनुअल कमेमोरेशन ऑफ द खिजराली मैसेकेयर दैट हैपन इन नाइन सेवनटीन थर्टी करेक्ट सो कमिंग बैक नेशनल फॉरेस्ट मार्टर्स डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन इलेवंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री देन फ्रॉम इंडिया हु पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द ईस्टर्न इकोनॉमिक फोरम and this eastern economic forum question can be asked is location where was this held so this eastern economic forum was held in russia and who participated from indian side sarbandana sonowal ji right he participated in this eastern economic forum that happened in russia next next tell me fourth edition of the g20 sustainable finance working group meeting held where it was held in varanasi right and if we are talking about varanasi up only remember in up which city will be developed as solar city it will be ayodhya correct it will be developed as a solar city next when was the un international day for south south cooperation 23 observed across the globe with the theme solidarity equity and partnership unlocking south south cooperation to achieve the sustainable development goal so remember this international day for south south cooperation was observed on 12th of september right and the theme here was as we saw solidarity equity and partnership unlocking south south cooperation to achieve sustainable development goal the first ever edition of this day was observed in 2004 correct next next is name the personality who recently appointed as the vice chairman of nascom so who has been appointed as the vice chairperson of nascom sindhu gangadharan right he has been appointed as the vice chairperson of nascom correct next is name the organization that recently signed an mou with national bank for agriculture and rural development to boost data driven innovation in agriculture i repeat which organization recently signed an mou with nabard to boost data driven innovation in the agriculture sector which is it it is united nation development program where is the headquarter of it it is in new york usa correct so nabard and they signed this agreement or signed in memorandum of understanding with undp and this will be for next 5 years and it will be for technical cooperation for the joint development of data driven innovation in the agriculture sector right important then apart from this recently uber has partnered with which force to offer mobility solution so recently uber partnered with indian navy in order to offer various mobility solution next next tell me which state became the first service sector policy that is approved it so which state approved the first service sector policy it is uttarakhand government next in which city union minister of education and skill development and entrepreneurship Dharmendra Pradhan has recently inaugurated Vidya Samiksha Kendra and laid the foundation stone of 141 Pradhan Mantri schools for Rising India PM Shri schools. So, in which city? It is in Dehradun, Uttarakhand. Right? In Dehradun, Uttarakhand, Dharmendra Pradhan has recently inaugurated Vidya Samiksha Kendra and laid the foundation stone for 141 PM Shri schools. These schools will be based on the new education model right and they will be providing better facilities to the students there correct and these pm shri schools will serve as the model for the existing schools to achieve excellence and provide quality education to the underprivileged children next which states municipal corporation or tell me or yes which states municipal corporation recently started a cash for waste scheme cash for waste scheme this was started in bihar and it is your patna municipal corporation that has started this cash for waste scheme next which organization along with indian institute of corporate affairs and national stock exchange of india limited has recently organized a workshop on business responsibility and sustainability reporting in mumbai 
Maharashtra. So it is UNICEF, that is United Nations Children Fund, correct, along with NSE and NSE in the NSE premises, this was launched. The aim of this workshop was to provide a comprehensive understanding of business responsibility and sustainable reporting, correct. It mandated that the top 1000 listed companies to report their ESG, Environment Social Governance Performance, showcasing their dedication to responsible business conduct, right? Then apart from this, recently fourth edition of World Trade Expo was inaugurated by or inaugurated where? So fourth edition of the World Trade Expo. It was inaugurated where? In Maharashtra and it was inaugurated by the Maharashtra governor. Next, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has extended the relaxation for the provision of requirement of indigenous domestic content requirement under component C of Pradhan Mantri Kisan Urja Suraksha Vam Uthan Maha Abhiyan Yojana that is PM Kusam scheme and it is still which date? It is still 31st of March 2024. Correct? Remember, MNRE, they extended the relaxation for the provision of the requirement of indigenous document content requirement under the component C of PM Kusum scheme till 31st of March 2024. Correct? Next. Next, remember, this Pradhan Mantri Kisan Urja Suraksha Vam Uthan Mahabhyan Yojana, that is PM Kusum scheme, it was launched, PM Kusum was launched in March 2019 and it was launched by Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and it is basically to provide subsidies to farmers in order to install solar irrigation pumps for cultivation. Next, name the payment company that recently collaborated with NPCI to launch auto pay on QR that is quick response a feature enabling customer onboarding through a two step process. So it is your Cash Free Payments India Private Limited. I repeat, Cash Free Payments India Private Limited, they in collaboration with NPCI, they have launched Auto Pay on QR. QR codes are your quick response code, right? This is a uh, two step process that will enhance the payment feature, correct? So it is your Cash Free Payments India Private Limited that tied up with NPCI. Also, this feature has been integrated with Shopify, PayPal, Amazon Pay, Paytm and Google Pay as well. Next, which company along with the Ministry of Tourism and Invest India has recently launched Priceless.com to explore India's history and culture? It is MasterCard, right? So, MasterCard along with Ministry of Tourism and Invest India. They have recently launched Priceless.com to explore the India's culture and history, right? And they will be using the latest travel trends in order to hop this. Then also this priceless.com will also support India's initiative of Ministry of Tourism that is Dekho Apna Desh. Dekho Apna Desh. Then this will also promote tourism in India, correct? Also it will pave a way for local and international travelers to experience the country's diverse heritage. Then apart from this, recently ICCR, that is your Indian Council for Cultural Relations, they have organized Vaishali Festival of Democracy in which state? Vaishali Festival of Democracy. This was observed by ICCR in which state? It was in Bihar. It was in Bihar. Next. Next is which institute recently signed an MOU with ISRO for capacity building the areas of mineral resources and disaster management within the framework national uh, national natural resource management system program so which is this institute it is your geographical survey of india training institute that is option 1 correct they it is located where it is in hyderabad telangana right and they have signed a 5 year mou memorandum of understanding correct with ISRO in Bangalore, Karnataka as a part of National Natural Resource Management System. Correct? So right option is option 1. Here the scope for the collaborative project between them is to conduct a series, series of training 
for capacity building in the areas of mineral resources and disaster management. Next, name the Indian badminton player who recently won men's single title at BNI Indonesia Masters 2023 held in Medan, Indonesia. So, which Indian badminton player won the men's single title here? Kiran George. Correct. He won the men's single title at the BNI Indonesia Masters 2023. It was held from 5th to 10th of September and it was in Medan, Indonesia. So location is also important. Question can definitely be asked. Correct. Then remember this win helped him to achieve the BWF's best rank that is 39. Another way the question can be asked is that Kiran George is related to which sport? He is related to badminton. Next, which company recently rebranded its service as Bharat Dart? It is Blue Dart Express Limited. Correct. They have recently rebranded themselves as Bharat Dart. And remember, the company stated the name change reflects its commitment to serving the diverse needs of Bharat that is India's middle class. Correct. Blue Dart Express has been renamed to Bharat Dart. Then apart from this, tell me. Which country has recently announced $2 billion for Green Climate Fund? For Green Climate Fund during G20. This was announced by UK's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Right? Then USA recently tied up with which country for semiconductor supply chain? For semiconductor supply chain. So USA has tied up with Vietnam. Correct. USA tied up with Vietnam for semiconductor supply chain. Next, which state government recently launched the gift deed scheme to reduce poverty related family disputes in courts? So this scheme was launched by which state? It was by Uttar Pradesh government. Correct. This UP government has launched a gift deed scheme in order to reduce poverty related issue. This scheme will be benefiting more than 43,574 people from 5th of August to 12th of September. The public got a benefit of here around 1807 crore rupees under this particular scheme. Right? And under the new scheme, the stamp duty for such transaction has been reduced to 5000 rupees. Correct? And this said this scheme has been a significant change in the stamp duty associated with property donations to blood relatives in Uttar Pradesh. Correct. So the state that has launched gift deed scheme to reduce property related family disputes in court is your Uttar Pradesh. Right. Then apart from this, tell me recently, which country has launched UPI for conversational payments has launched Hello UPI. It was launched by our India. Correct. Apart from this recently, Mastercard has partnered with which organization to make B2B payments rewarding for vendors, right? B2B is your business to business payments rewarding for vendors. So it is your Mastercard. They tied up with CredX, correct? And it is for B2B payments rewarding for the vendors. Next, which Indian Institute of Technology has recently signed an MOU with ICICI Bank to support the startup ecosystem? In order to boost the startup ecosystem, which IIT tied up with ICICI Bank? It is IIT Kanpur, right? IIT Kanpur signed an MOU with ICICI Bank in order to boost the startup ecosystem and provide startup incubation and innovation center. Correct. Then under this MOU, they together will facilitate joint efforts to equip startups and innovators with essential tools and knowledge. So right option is IIT Kanpur, right? Next, which bank has enabled UPI ATM facility at over more than 6,000 ATMs across India? So this UTI, UPI ATM facility has been enabled by Bank of Baroda, right? And recently IREDA, they signed MOUs with which banks in order to finance renewable energy project? So it is Union Bank of India and Bank of Baroda. They tied up with IRADA in order to finance the renewable energy projects. 
नेक्स्ट विच इंश्योरेंस कंपनी रिसेंटली लॉन्च्ड अ सिक्योर अर्निंग एंड वेलनेस एडवांटेज प्लान दैट इज सेवा दैट कंबाइंस द बेनिफिट ऑफ हेल्थ एंड लाइफ इंश्योरेंस अंडर अ सिंगल प्लान सो दिस सेवा वाज लॉन्च्ड बाय मैक्स लाइफ इंश्योरेंस करेक्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस टेल मी जेनिथ मेटल कार्ड जेनिथ मेटल कार्ड वॉज लॉन्च बाय विच स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक इट इज यू ए यू स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक दैट इज लॉन्च दिस जेनिथ मेटल कार्ड नेक्स्ट विच कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली साइंड एन एमओयू विद सिडबी टू ऑफर इजी फाइनेंसिंग ऑप्शन फॉर एम एस एम ई सो विच इज इट इट इज योर विच कंपनी दैट इज प्रोवाइडिंग इजी फाइनेंसिंग ऑप्शन फॉर एम एस एम ई इट इज टाटा पावर सोलो सिस्टम्स लिमिटेड Correct. They signed this MOU with Sidbi for the same. Apart from this, if I ask you, which became the first foreign bank in India to launch ONDC in a box? In a box. So, which is the first foreign bank? It is HSBC India, right? They became the first foreign bank in India to launch ONDC in a box. Next, name the Indian personality who has been recently honored with Chevalier Dance Order Day. that is the knight of the order of arts and letters i repeat which indian personality has been honored with the knight of the order of arts and letters by the government of france so who is that indian personality he will be rahul mishra correct rahul mishra is an indian fashion designer and this award that is the knight of the order of arts and letter was presented to him by the government of france the award recognizes his achievement in the field of arts as a designer and the award honors his contribution to the cultural relationship and cooperation between india and france so rahul mishra he is an designer and he was honored with this award right he is an indian fashion designer important award correct next recently tell me recently income lab we just saw above income lab it was launched by bharti exa life insurance correct apart from this tell me recently how many scientists were awarded or selected for the shanti swarup bhatnagar award shanti swarup bhatnagar award for 2022 so a total of 12 scientists were recently selected here then apart from this which railway station got the green railway certification green railway certification so which railway got the green railway certification it is vijayawada railway station next kkr and co incorporation that is kolba kravis roberts and corporation is set to invest 2069 crore rupees into reliance retail ventures limited to raise its total equity stake to dash percent from 1.7 percent on a fully diluted base so from 1.17 percent the stake equity stake will be increased to 1.42 percent in retail reliance retail ventures limited and for this 2069.5 crore rupees has been invested so right option here becomes option 3 correct then which country has successfully launched s x r i s m satellite which country successfully launched it it was launched by japan if the name of space organization asked here is jaxa has successfully launched x r i s m research satellite right next which company has recently signed an mou with isro and in space to support the space tech innovations through cloud computing so which is that it is aws that is amazon web service it is a cloud company of amazon right and they signed this mou with isro in space correct and it was to support the various space tech innovations through the cloud computing here cloud computing will provide speedy handling of various data that will executing ai machine learning analytic workloads etc correct and this will be comparatively cheap as compared to having all those processors in building then next who launched mashal for mashal or not mashal give me this in which state 37th national games will be held 37th national games they will be held in which state they will be held in goa correct 37th national games next 
इंडियन मेंस फुटबॉल टीम वन द साउथ एशियन फुटबॉल फेडरेशन अंडर सिक्सटीन चैंपियनशिप ट्वेंटी थ्री टाइटल बाई डिफीटिंग डैश कंट्री इन द वाइनल्स हेल्ड इन भूटान सो रिसेंटली रिमेंबर इंडियन मैन फुटबॉल टीम डिफीटेड बांग्लादेश टू वन द अंडर सिक्सटीन साउथ एशियन फुटबॉल फेडरेशन चैंपियनशिप टाइटल एंड दे वर हेल्ड वेयर लोकेशन इज भूटान इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फुटबॉल रिमेंबर दुरंत कप इट इज रिलेटेड टू फुटबॉल मोहन बगान फुटबॉल टीम हैज वन द दुरंत कप एंड इट इज फॉर द सेवनटीन टाइम दे वन दिस टाइटल एंड विच स्टेट हैज टाइड अप विद बुंदेस लीगा इन ऑर्डर टू प्रमोट फुटबॉल इन देयर पर्टिकुलर स्टेट इट इज महाराष्ट्र एंड महाराष्ट्र इज द ओनली स्टेट इन इंडिया दैट इज हैविंग टू आई आई एम्स दैट इज आई आई एम नागपुर एंड आई आई एम मुंबई राइट नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज हिंदी दिवस ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस इंडिया सो हिंदी दिवस वॉज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्टींथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर करेक्ट एंड इट इज टू कमेमरेट द अडोप्शन और डेक्लेशन ऑफ हिंदी हिंदी इज रिटर्न इन देवनागरी स्क्रिप्ट एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेजेज ऑफ इंडिया रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट एवर हिंदी दिवस वॉज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्टीन सेप्टेंबर इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस टेल मी हु बिकेम द थर्ड इंग्लैंड स्पिनर टू टेक हंड्रेड ओडीआई विकेट्स ही विल बी मोइन अली राइट ही इज इंडियन इंग्लैंड स्पिनर एंड इज द थर्ड इंग्लैंड स्पिनर टू टेक हंड्रेड ओडीआई विकेट्स देन बास्केटबॉल वर्ल्ड कप हु वन द बास्केटबॉल वर्ल्ड कप फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट इज जर्मनी दे डिफिटेड सर्बिया इन द फाइनल्स टू विन द बास्केटबॉल वर्ल्ड कप फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नेक्स्ट डैश बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन फॉर्म टू यूज एच कंप्यूटिंग फॉर टेकिंग हाई रेजोल्यूशन इमेजेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन ऑर्बिटिंग सेटेलाइट इन रियल टाइम सो विच इज इट इट इज योर कलाइडो स्पेस सिस्टम राइट दे बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन फॉर्म टू यूज एच कंप्यूटिंग फॉर टेकिंग हाई रेजोल्यूशन इमेजेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन ऑर्बिटिंग सेटेलाइट इन रियल टाइम करेक्ट विद दिस दिस बैंगलोर स्टार्टअप अचीव्ड अ न्यू माइल स्टोन बाय बिकमिंग द फर्स्ट इंडियन फॉर्म to demonstrate edge computing in space correct then who became the first cricketer to for not first fastest cricketer to achieve 13000 odi runs he will be virat kohli right and rohit sharma recently completed 10000 odi runs remember this also then which edition of subroto cup will be held from delhi and gurgaon so it will be the 62nd edition of subroto cup that will be held from delhi and gurugram next which of the following indian personalities have been recently named in the time magazine's list of the top 100 emerging leaders shaping the world so remember harmanpreet kaur nandita venkateshan and vinu daniel all three of them have been recently named in the time magazine's list of the top 100 emerging leaders that are shaping the world correct then remember who became the fastest indian spinner to take 150 odi wickets fastest indian spinner kuldeep yadav right then next remember world physiotherapy day world physiotherapy day when do we observe this on 8th of september and the theme here is prevention and management of arthritis i repeat world physiotherapy day on 8th of september and it is the theme here is prevention and management of arthritis next union minister of skill development and entrepreneurship dharmendra pradhan launched skill india platform it is not skill india platform it will be skill india digital platform right so धर्मेंद्र प्रधान हैज लॉन्च दिस स्किल इंडिया डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म दिस इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर स्किलिंग एजुकेशन एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड एंटरप्रनोरशिप दिस प्लेटफॉर्म विल इंक्लूड बोथ अ वेबसाइट एंड अ मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन दैट विल बी डेवलप्ड बाय एन एस डी सी दैट इज योर नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉरपोरेशन एंड स्किल इंडिया डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म विल ऑफर अ वेराइटी ऑफ इंडस्ट्री स्पेसिफिक कोर्सेज करेक्ट देन वेन डू विद ऑब्जर्व हिंदी दिवस वी जस्ट सो ऑन फोर्टीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर National Forest Martyrs Day we saw on 11th September on 15th of September we observe Engineers Day 
right and on 15th of september also we observe international day of democracy next in september ministry of corporate affairs extended the tenure of the company law committee until dash so the tenure has been extended till 16th of september 2024 right this company law committee was set up in 2019 and this was set up in order to achieve the goals that a company should be working towards right so that Uh, various uh, different matters concerning to the implementation of the act then how the companies corporations are working right to look into their matters are they performing good or not or if they are uh, opting suitable practices or not so this was set up right and now it has been uh, extended till 16th of september 2020 next which of the following association ngo or museums foreign contribution regulate act license has been recently got cancelled by ministry of home affairs see this fcra license what is this this fcra is your foreign contribution regulation act license that means any ngo can accept payment from any organization outside india right so that the foreign corporations foreign organizations or foreign individuals they can send money to these ngos or museums right and for which organization or ngo or museum their fcra license has been got cancelled by ministry of home affairs recently it is both 2 and 3 that is shrinivas mahila memorial theater craft museum and self employed women's association that is seva both of their fcra license has been cancelled next name the company that recently partnered with yes bank to launch hyper upi a plug in software development toolkit developed by npci it is jaspay right jaspay technologies they partnered with yes bank or yes bank partnered with jaspay technologies to launch a software development kit that is a plug in software development toolkit that is developed by nci right npci with this the merchants can now offer customers a hassle free one click upi experience this will allow the customers to undertake upi based transactions within their merchant application correct and npci when was this launched it was launched in 2007 next which company recently collaborated with npci to launch india's first contactless payment variable on the go ring that was named seven ring so seven ring is the name of this otg ring that is on the go ring and it is the first contactless payment variable ring that was launched by npci right so npci collaborated with which organization to launch it it is livequick technology india private limited correct and the name here is seven ring next when was un international day of democracy 23 observed across the globe with the theme empowering the next generation so on 15th of september we observe international day of democracy with the theme empowering the next generation the first ever edition of this day was observed in 2008 correct next next is what was the theme of national engineers day that was observed on 20, uh, 15th of september so the theme here that you need to remember is engineering for a sustainable future this is the theme here correct and mark this it is observed on 15th of september next which company recently became the title sponsor of moto gp bharat the first ever grand prix in india to be held in noida up in september remember there was a comment also i saw people got confused between moto gp and your f1 race moto gp is your bike racing right and your f1 race this is your car racing correct so moto gp bike race will be held in noida up in greater noida at the gautam buddha circuit right and it will be the first ever grand prix that will be held in india question asked here is that which company became the title sponsor here it is indian oil corporation limited correct first ever grand prix in india it will be at gautam buddha international circuit in greater noida and it was from 22nd to 24th of september revision part let's start first is indian bank right they have rolled out ib sathi to provide basic banking services so this ib sathi was rolled out by which bank indian bank then yes bank partnered with which organization to offer merchant in app upi payment it is just pay then iradf they partnered with which bank to promote renewable energy adoption it is bank of maharashtra 
then SBI has introduced a digital opening of NRE and NRO accounts through UNO application. This application is of SBI. Then ECO, they have introduced platinum, platinum health plans. Ujjivan Small Finance Bank, they have introduced Maxima saving account. OECD, they have raised India's growth forecast for fiscal year 24 to just 3%. Then Employees Provident Fund Organization, EPFO, they recorded the highest net member addition of 18.75 lakh in July. African Union to launch own credit rating agencies. Next is your appointments and resignation. R. Bartley Boy has been appointed as PTM Auditor. Sindhu Gangadhran appointed VC of National Association of Software and Service Company that is NASCOM. So who has been appointed as Vice Chairperson here? Sindhu Gangadhran. Rahul Naveen appointed as the Interim Director of Enforcement Director that is ED. Former SBI Chief Rajneesh Kumar has been appointed as the Chairman of Mastercard India. Hrithik Roshan appointed as the Brand Ambassador of Lubricants Brand Mobili. Right, then Srinivasan K. Swami elected as the chairman of Audit Bureau of Circulation. Payal Chhabra became the first women army surgeon to become a para commando. Dhananja Joshi appointed as the chairman of Digital Infrastructure Providers Association. And next is related to sports. Maharashtra wins the fifth national wheelchair rugby championship 2023. Where was this held? This was held in Pune. India has won Asia Cup for record extending eighth time. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz has won the Singapore Grand Prix 2023. Indian shooter Ella Vlinil Vlerin has won the gold medal in IISF World Cup 2023. Then Neera Chopra, he finished second, that is your silver medal at the Diamond League Finals in Eugene. Indian Oil became or becomes MotoGP Bharat's title sponsor. This is important and where was it held? It was held in UP at Gautam Buddha Circuit and that is in Greater Noida, that is green also. Then BCCI signed SBI Life as official partner for three-year period. Pakistan captain Babar Azam has won the ICC Men's Player of the Month award for August 2023. So friends, these were your important current affairs for the second week of September month. I hope the session was up to the mark and you have learned multiple things. It was a quite good revision video. If you find the session interesting, all you have to do is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same. Doing this will motivate us to make better content for you in the long run. So that's all for the day. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.